hi guys so me here welcome to my channel today we are going to prepare wet kenyaji chicken and that was the final product so let's see how the process was so kenyaji chicken as you can see there is a bit harder and it takes around three and above months to be ready and mature as opposed to the factory chicken which can take up to 42 days so there i have my garlic and as you can see there i'm just adding water this water is important for boiling i just want to boil it so that the chicken is softened and ready to eat so i add my garlic and I'm, after that i will add some curry powder and i'll start with you can start with any but that is turmeric just add the right amount and i'm not really measuring that cinnamon as well i'm just putting it the right amount you can put how you want depending on the amount of chicken as well and that is curry ginger not curry ginger ginger powder i just add it after that i also add soy sauce all these ingredients are important and it adds a flavor in the chicken so i'll just mix the chicken with all the ingredients and the water so this will give the chicken that flavor that i want at the end so kenyaji chicken is hard so i'm boiling it and i'll be boiling it for some few hours and in this i boil it slightly above one hour because the chicken was harder and as the chicken boils i am preparing my tomato and um, onion and coriander those are the only things i'm going to use while preparing this chicken so no pressure at all you can add whatever you want so i'll start with adding the onion the chicken has already boiled for an hour and so this one was a bit harder so you need to know that so it's already ready and as you can see there the brownish part which means i like it that way because i'm preparing wet chicken wet kenya chicken and i'm adding my tomatoes there and i'll just leave it for some few minutes to cook the tomatoes okay some few minutes are over and as you can see that the tomatoes are have cooked and that's the final product i am adding there um, my coriander the chicken is already ready as you can see the tomatoes have really mixed well and i'm spreading the coriander around and just closing it for some few minutes to simmer yes that's the final product that's the chicken that is ready and it's wet fried and i'm serving this chicken with rice you can even eat it with anything else that you wish you can do mashed potatoes and whatever and it's an easy thing to do yes bye bye